Hi there. My name's Blaine. Most of the people in my life just call me Dad. I'm a firefighter, a welder, business owner, a teacher, published author, and most importantly right now, a home bar enthusiast. Recently, I felt the need to try something new while we were all stuck inside. So while everybody else was trying to figure out how to work out, I took up bartending and mixology. I've learned as I'm about to show you that while there's a few rules, anyone can learn the secrets of the world's best bars and mixologists. I've also learned it doesn't take a lot to get started. Your bar doesn't have to be amazing, and then you can literally be the star of any party you go to. I created these videos to give you the insight and teach you the skills that I've learned. In them, we'll make the Prohibition Era classics, as well as many of the new cocktails you might find on a night out. I'll touch a bit on the history of each, probably throw in a few good dad jokes for good measure. So come on in, have a seat, relax. I'll ask you the same question I ask all my friends and family now that they're old enough when they come over. You care for a drink? Hey, hon, have you seen my screwdriver? Uh-huh. What in the heck? I just had it. No. Oh, there it is. Let's talk about the screwdriver. You know, vodka is still the number one selling spirit in America. And that's because of the way it was originally marketed and it's still true today. It's mostly odorless, colorless, and tasteless. So it mixes with everything. The funny thing about the screwdriver is that like many other cocktails, it was actually not invented in a bar by a guy named Harry. In fact, it wasn't really invented in a bar at all. Now, the screwdriver is the most basic of highballs. You've got orange juice and you've got vodka, over ice in a glass. Right? Um, I'm sure most of you, when you were uh, trying to sneak into your parents' liquor cabinet and experiment with a little alcohol, and we know that you tried this one, okay? You took some orange juice, you added a couple shots of vodka to it, and you had something that you could sip on for a while and wouldn't get your hand caught in the proverbial cookie jar. Um, screwdriver history really isn't that old, but like all good histories, it does have multiple options, all right? The first and most accepted account is that the Persia, in the Persian Gulf, American roughnecks back in the 1950s, mid 20th century, started adding vodka to their orange juice. Not a lot of bar spoons running around in the desert, and so they stirred their drink with all the only thing that they had, screwdriver, and the name stuck. Another story talks about United States Marines in World War II adding vodka to their orange juice during the war in the Pacific. Although I tend to discount this because I don't think that they would want to dull their senses in the middle of combat by drinking. It makes for a good story though. A third one talks about, or was talked about in an issue of Time Magazine from 1949 uh, that tells us in the dimly lighted bar of the Sleek Park Hotel, Turkish intelligence agents mingle with uh, American engineers and Balkan refugees, all drinking the latest Yankee concoction of vodka and orange juice, called a screwdriver. Whatever the correct origin story, you can't argue with the popularity of the drink. There's not too many cocktails out there that have spawned such a huge family of drinks. For example, Swap out the vodka for slow gin and you get a slow screw. If you add two shots of slow gin and one shot of Southern Comfort to your drink, you have a slow, comfortable screw. If you add a layer of Galliano to it like you would from a Harvey Wallbanger, now you have a slow, comfortable screw up against the wall. Add a shot of tequila to that and you have a slow, comfortable screw up against the wall, Mexican style. And if you swap the tequila out for peach schnapps, you have a slow, comfortable screw up against the wall, except, excuse me, up against a fuzzy wall. Right? The list goes on. A shot of vodka with uh, an orange slice next to it is a cordless screwdriver. And if you swap the regular vodka for vanilla vodka, then uh, add a little bit of blue curacao, then you have a sonic screwdriver. Although some bars are going to want to uh, top that with lemon lime soda as opposed to orange juice. It's safe to say the screwdriver is one of the most tweaked recipes out there. Simply by changing the juice, you change the name, swap out the orange juice for cranberry juice, and you get a vodka cran, or otherwise known as a Cape Cod. If you come over the top of that Cape Cod with a little bit of orange juice, now you have a Madras. Change that out to grapefruit juice with your vodka and you have a Greyhound. Put that in a salted rim glass and you have a salty dog. If you use cranberry juice and come over the top of that with grapefruit juice, you have a sea breeze. And instead of the grapefruit juice, if you come over that with pineapple juice, you have a bay breeze. The list goes on and on. What isn't in dispute is that the screwdriver and all of its family are children or in, or, and children they're fruity and delicious. They're perfect on warm summer days, and in the wintertime, like we have here, 
They can transport you to a beautiful beach inside your mind. They're fairly inexpensive, they're easy to drink, and they're simple to make. You get a bonus that there's a good chance that you probably have what you need to make one in your house right now. So what do you say? You care for a drink? How about a screwdriver? And for today, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a lot of them because I'm going to show you multiples of the same family. So let's get started. Let's make a screwdriver. Start with our glass. Ice in the glass. One and a half ounces of vodka. And then again, I prefer fresh squeezed juice. You don't have to. Regular orange juice would be fine. But we'll just top that off with orange juice. And there is your basic screwdriver. Let's do a madras. In this case, vodka. And we'll come over that with cranberry juice. And then we'll throw a splash of orange juice on top of that. You don't have to be perfect on that. And then I think we'll garnish this one with a little orange peel. There's your madras. How about we do a gray hand? Grapefruit juice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to garnish this guy with a sprig of rosemary. That's nice. Salty dog, another version on that. Salted rim on a glass. Ice. Vodka. Grapefruit juice. And again, we'll use our sprig of rosemary. Now you'll notice I'm kind of pinching this a little bit. That will release the aromas of the rosemary. There's our salty dog. Let's go ahead and do a uh, sea breeze. Ice in our glass. Vodka. Cranberry juice. And then we're going to come over the top of that with some grapefruit juice. And we can garnish that with a lime oil. How about just a plain old Cape Cod? Vodka Cran. Vodka and cranberry. Cape Cod, otherwise known as a vodka current. <clears throat> uh, let's see, what else can we do? Got all kinds of stuff up here. How about we do a 
How about we do old Buddy Harvey? Ice in our glass. Vodka. Orange juice. And then we'll float a layer of Galliano on top. something like that. And there's our Harvey wall banner. Let's bring in a friend from the islands. Oh, we do a Caribbean screwdriver. So, a little bit of ice for shaking. Mixing tin. Coconut rum. Creme de banana. Peach schnapps. Come over that with a little bit of pineapple juice. Some orange juice on top of that. Three to four ounces. It's probably good, right about there. And then we'll add a little bit of cream to it. Mix that up. and tropical with a little, do a little umbrella. So there you go. Some of the members of the screwdriver family. Definitely one of the most popular drinks out there and as you can see you can tweak it a little bit and make a ton of different beautiful drinks. Have a great day. Well that's last call. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video go ahead and give it a like down below. Feel free to leave a comment as well. You never know, I might feature your drink next. While you're at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? That way you'll know when I've got new content out. You know, each of these videos takes me between two and four hours to shoot and edit. Couple that with the cost of the booze and the ingredients, it's a good size investment for me. I'd really appreciate it if you're so inclined, and if you would help me cover the cost of my time ingredients, you can do so by heading over to my Patreon page at patreon.com backslash drinkswithdad. There you'll find additional footage, contents, a monthly newsletter. There's a lot more than that. You'll also be able to help support me keep creating these videos. I'll see you next time.